Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at yet another function that we use in financial modeling. And that function is the choose function. We're going to see how the choose function can be used instead of the index function that we used in our previous video. In the previous video, we were able to learn how we could use the index and match function to come out with a solution where we choose a rate and then that is applied or implemented in our model. So today we're going to be doing this same thing, but this time around we will be using the choose function. So one thing we could do is just replicate what we already have here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select all of this, copy, and let's implement it here. And that's one of the benefits uh, of uh, Microsoft Excel in financial modeling. We can actually reuse blocks of our uh, uh, models that we might have. So in this case, this works just fine. And we can see everything is working as if it were done in here. So we are going to do some changes here. We are going to, let's assume we're not looking at inflation rates now, but we're looking at uh, interest. We're looking at interest rates. And let's assume that we've been told that the interest is a range between any two rates. For example, we might have a high rate and we have a low rate. And uh, let's have a moderate, moderate, moderate here. I want to leave them just as low, high, low, moderate here. Of course, you'll notice that this has uh, thrown out an error, and that is correct because there is nothing like mean rate here. And when we look at the drop down, the data validation is showing us things we really do not want. So now that's easy to resolve. Uh, why we uh, why we select the uh, validation cell, we can go to data validation and on the source, in the source bar here. See, when we click it, you see it's looking at this range, but we're going to tell it that no, look at this range. And then that's all we need to do and okay. And so when we click on the drop down, we see that we now have our rates and everything works fine. Now let's assume that the high rate is 12% and then the low rate is 8%. And for the moderate rate, we want to assume that this is just an average. So we use the average function, average of uh, the high rate and the low rate. So that should work fine and haven't got this, we can extend it to all the cells that it applies. But what we want to do is we no longer want to use the index function uh, for the rates that are applied here. We no longer want to use them. We want to use the choose function. And so we started by equal to choose and open a bracket. So the IntelliSense here shows us what we need in order to implement the choose function. It needs an index function. Sorry, it needs an index number rather. And we can bring in all the values into it like value one, value two, value three, and so on. 
So while we implement it, we'll see exactly what it does, but I would like you to see um, what Excel says it does. So it says the choose function here, it says the choose function, choose a value or an action to perform from a list of values based on an index number. So the function takes in as many values as uh, uh, 250 something values, but reasonably we, in this case, we are just doing it for three values. So the three values make a list and based on the index number, it pulls out the value that corresponds uh, uh, relatively to that list. So in implementing it, we have uh, uh, we, we have an open bracket and then we are going to give it an index number. But for now, I don't want to give it an index number. So I just put the comma so that it asks before values. So my value one is 12% comma. My value two is 10% comma. My value three is 8%. And that's all we have. So we're done. So we close the uh, bracket and hit and implement the function. Of course, yes, you're going to have a value error. And that's simply because we have not, we have not included any input for our index number. So our range again, a uh, selection of cells is such that we have 12% as one, 10% as two, and 8% as three. So if I put one here and hit my enter button, you see, I got the first value that we had chosen in the chose function. It's the same thing if we do two, and then what we get is the corresponding value to the second number, uh, second rate that we had uh, uh, chosen. And so if we put three, you already know what it would be. Certainly it will be the last of the three that would show up. So you can see the choose function is very simple to implement and it makes it easy for you to build scenarios. So one thing here is that we fall into the same issue that we had when we were treating the index function. And so we had to bring in the match function to help us make some sense in our choice of the options that might be in our scenarios. So here, it would not make sense for us to come in or to have the user come in here and enter one or two or three in here in order to implement a scenario. We want a situation where if we choose high or moderate or low, it should give us the corresponding percentage here. And so that means that we need to use the match function here again. And so how do we do that? Well, I explained the match function uh, in, in, in the last video. And what I want to do now is just go into this formula, take the match function and the inputs here because it, it, it still would work. And so that is it. Notice that in this case, it's got red brackets, the match function and everything within the red bracket. I'm going to copy it and then bring it here. So instead of three here, we're going to put the match function here. And so one other adjustment I want to do is this, because the match function that I just selected here is looking at this range, but I want it to look at this range. So that done, we can click our enter button 
and what we get is uh, not available and we can understand that because it's looking at this cell so we're going to pull this down also and hit our enter button and you can see that it works just fine so with this we can extend it and that's the choose and the match function at work there so if we choose the moderate we get that and if we choose low that is exactly what we get so we can come to our assumptions and have interest rate and uh, secondly it's a percentage so we have that in there and we just map these cells to our interest rate so there it is so so in our model we can always pick the interest rates from this place so if we change it to anything here anywhere on the sheet it changes and we are able to apply these assumptions in our model so that's the choose function for you i hope you understand it and uh, i want you to be able to implement it if you have issues implementing the match function with the choose function you want to watch my previous video i have the link in the description below so you can watch it and see how we accomplish the index function and the match function and how that can also be extended but using the choose function thank you for watching this video i would like to have you watch my next video